All right, so here's a very quick video on my edits. Uh, because some people, and you know, it's completely fine. Some people would think, you know, I don't use Premiere Pro, I use After Effects, um, that I use Dynamic Link, which is when you can use both After Effects and Premiere Pro in like together. But I don't use that. Uh, and I will show you proof. So as you can see, I've got one project file open and I'm going to show you another one. So this one is a remake. Not too long ago, I made a Neptune remake edit. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. To be honest, it was very easy. Um, it only took like, I think, a day to make. Uh, but it also did take another day, mostly to find the overlays. That was the hardest part because I don't really use overlays. So... I was just like contacting everyone. I was like, do you have this overlay? Do you, do you know where I can find it? But since the edit was already made, all I had to do was just, you know, put the clips together and add the effects. It wasn't too difficult. Um, right now my timeline is lagging because I am recording. So yeah, uh, I'm sure this is more than enough proof to show you that it's the real thing. Um, yeah, time to kill Premiere Pro once again. All right, I'm back um so yeah here's the timeline what i'm going to be doing is just showing you a few settings this is not a tutorial i'm just going to briefly go over it to show you that yeah this is made on premiere pro as you can see i've got my one frame is here i should probably mute the audio let me just do that really quick okay yeah so uh let's just maybe let me show you the uh let me just go to effect control so as you can see i've got a scale out here that's been done using an adjustment layer so as you can see i've got transform here nothing too complex um scale out and then as you can see actually i've used two transform effects uh i think it's just more effective at least for these kinds of um like zoom outs scale outs if it will play it's not going to play is it yeah it's not going to play that's why i keep on like pre-rendering my timeline so that it's way smoother to like scrub through but let me just show you a few one frames so as you can see we've got these ones here Sorry about the quality, by the way, because, you know, I am playing it back on, what, one quarter. So it's going to look absolutely terrible. It's not even going to play, is it? So let me just quickly render this segment just so I can explain the uh, the effects. So I'm just going to render that. So far, this video is a complete fail. Not really going as planned. Um, and Premiere Pro is not working again, so time to kill it. Okay, I'm back after five minutes. I just pre-rendered my timeline. Wait, is it actually recording? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now I can actually show you uh, the timeline. So yeah, this is the edit. Um, let me start by showing you the one frames, as I said. So let me just go back. Let me just go to like this one, for example. So yeah, these are real. Let me go to effect controls. You can see I've got all the effects. So find edges, tint, uh, S-blur, union.glow. So uh, I would turn these off, but that might, you know, cause it to lag. So I'm not going to really take that risk. These are the settings for union.glow. Uh, let's just move on. So maybe like to this like glitch, uh, zoom out. So I think this thing at the back is an overlay. Which one was it again? It was, was it this? No, what is this? I don't really know. It's like a dirt overlay. I didn't even know I had that. Um. Oh yeah, I can see it. I think it's the top one, this one here. Yeah, so this was an overlay. Looks like this. And then I just time remapped it. Didn't twix that, no point. Just time remapped it, very simple. And then use like a blend, was it a blending mode, I think? Uh, let me just open it up. Yep, linear, linear dodge. And also added some glow because, you know, it just looks a bit dull otherwise. So if I just open it up, you can see, you know, it's not really standing out. Looks good with the glow. So yeah, did that. Uh, what else do I want to explain? Uh, the scale out, the zoom out. Uh, once again, transform. Then you've got like this twitch here. Uh, I think I use blur directional for it. So, yeah, so I usually just manually keyframe them. I find it so much better because then I get full control of shakes rather than using something like S shake. Ah, and then there's this one. People were asking me, how on earth did I do it? I'm going to explain. Why not? Uh, so for this one framer, these are the effects. Um, and then what, did, what was it again? Warp bubble. Yeah, so warp bubble, chromatic glow. And I also did use some S shake on an adjustment layer. You can see I've got flicker, S shake. And the particles are an overlay, I think. Yeah, it looks like this. Pretty simple stuff, especially because of the overlays making it so much easier. And then you've got like these one framers. Now, I did break the original edit down uh, frame by frame just to see, like, how did the editor achieve the impact? So, you know, that really does help when remaking. But yeah, scale out, um, twixted clip, nothing too special. One frame is again, overlay. And then you've got like a shake here. I think, what did I use again for this? Was it warp transform or something else? Let's see. No, I used... Ah, it's these adjustment layers here, I think. I don't know why I split them up, but... Yeah, I mean, whatever works, I suppose. Um, so like on this one, you can see I've got blur directional. As I said before, you know, I just have, I just get more control over my shakes then when done manually compared to using S shake. So 
yeah, just looks cool. And then more one frame is. Uh, this is an overlay as well. That took so long to find this like spiral overlay. And I think I also did Twixter it. I think this is it. Yeah, so it will play. You can see I've twisted it and then uh, reversed it as well. But yeah, I think that's more than enough evidence to show that I did make this on Premiere Pro. Uh, watermark here, text, uh, what else? Flickr. Um, this, now people are going to say only After Effects has this pinch effect. Now, I didn't use pinch. I used, uh, what was it, warp fish eye and also blur motion. These are my settings. So zero, one, and then this at the end. Then I used blur motion to give it some motion blur of course but yeah that's the remake let's move on to my other edits i'm actually going to close this one first because i don't want it to lag all right so here's uh the string theory edit um do i need to show it on the screen did i already show you i don't know but yeah this is the timeline for it uh it doesn't look as complex i think but the process was very complex it took so long to figure out how to make effective transitions i had to rewatch so many edits um just to figure out like how how am i going to make this scale in look good how am i going to make these one frames not look too like epileptic even though that didn't really work and someone probably had a stroke from it what do i want to show uh these strings i want to show you how i made these lines here these strings so if i just open it up wait was it that one no it was these so for this i used wave warp to animate it but how did i make it well i used legacy title the newer, the newer versions of Premiere, they don't have it, but I like to use it. I've got Premiere Pro 2022 and I've been using it for a while. So, you know, I don't really want to move on. I like it. All I did was make a line and then I animated it by using the wave warp. As you can see, these are my settings and the graph is also here. You can see it's a bit of a mess. Uh, let me just try and fix that. There you go. You can see it a little bit better, even though it's still like difficult to tell what's going on. But yeah, that's that animated then you've got everything here like uh, this clip this here this took so long to like mask i think it was like yeah it was a layer duplicated and then i used twixter and then i used if i just open it up i use like ultra key so let me just hide that um and then i used masking as well to just like it, it was such a waste of time because later on i found out that there's actually an effect that can do this for me it's called i think it was bcc comet which I used later on. So let me just uh, keep going down here. I think it was this clip. No, just the one before that, I think. You can see I've actually used it at the back here. And I was like, wait, why didn't I just do that rather than masking it and doing like, you know, adding all these layers of effects. I could have just added BCC Comet. So yeah, it's, uh, where is it? This one here. It's such a great effect. You can mess around with so many settings, source X, Y, you know, just change up like the angles and everything like right now it's not oh there you go okay yeah so you can see i'm moving around and i created a mask um just so it disappears once it reaches the edge of the window uh what else do i want to show let's see let me just scrub through here um one framers the one framers there are so many effects you can have a look at it for yourself project file is in the description below for both this and also the remake edit i showed earlier but yeah scrubbing through um yeah, this is quite awkward because I don't know what to say anymore. This was a mask, I think. You know how like free run just appears? I think it was a mask. Let me find it. Was it that one? Was it a mask? Yes, it was a mask. So I've masked that bit. And if I just open it up again, you can see I've got a mask here. Fun fact, I actually did start this project back in... When did it? When was it again? Was it June or July? It was either like March, April, May or something like that. I can't remember, but it was like early 2024. And then I scrapped it, if some of you remember that. And then I picked it up again because it's too good. I can't just scrap it, can I? Even though I did. Oh, and also I want to mention once again, BCC is probably the best plugin because it's got so many awesome effects. There's something called BCC Organic Stra Sta Strands. Yeah, or is it organic? Yeah, organic strands. That's how I got these like strings or strands, should I say. There's just so much you can do with these effects. It honestly just, I, I can't talk. I can't talk about it. I'll save it for another video, but yeah. Uh, what else can I talk about? Nothing more, I think that's it. More one framers. Here are my settings, the effects that I used uh, on my clip manual shake using warp transform because i like doing my shakes manually even if they don't look good i don't care anyways yeah that's it uh project files are both in the description below if you do want to buy them i think my members get one of these for free i don't remember but yeah that's it thank you for watching and uh, hope you believe me now